Hey y'all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. Today, I'm going to reveal my absolute favorite whiskey in every category that I have here in the SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. Now, those categories are bourbon whiskey, rye whiskey, Irish whiskey, Japanese whiskey, and last but not least, Scotch whiskey. So five different whiskeys I want to show you today that are my absolute favorite that's down here in my bar, SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. Now, granted, some may be fantastic. Some you may recommend to me that are just outrageously good that I just don't have down here in the bar. So... I want to hear all your comments. I want to actually know that if you have a better option or something you feel is better than what I give you down here in my bar, I'd like to know because I'd be interested to find out what might be better than what I'm going to offer you here today. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, if you want to get some more cocktail recipe recipes, spirit reviews, bourbon and whiskey, hit that subscribe button. Once you've done that, hit that notification bell, and that way you won't miss a single episode of the show. All right. The very first category that I want to share with you today is bourbon whiskey. Now, this was an extremely, extremely difficult decision for me because I have a lot of bourbon down here that I, I would consider to be very, very good in all different price ranges from $30, $40, $50. Of course, you've seen my previous videos all the way up to the $800 uh, price range, so on and so forth. But what I want to show you tonight is my absolute favorite bourbon that I have in here in the bar tonight. Bardstown Chateau de Libaud. What can I say? This stuff is, in my opinion, fantastic. It's a 12-year Indiana whiskey. It states on the label, so I'm assuming MGP whiskey. And it's fish finished in Armagnac barrels. I'm going to be truthful. I don't even know what Armagnac is, but at this point, I want to sink my head. And I just want to put my head right in a barrel of Armagnac because this is so flipping good. It's just extremely delicious. It, it, it comes in at 118 proof, so it's a tiny bit hot. I have, I, I do drink this a little on ice, but I also have it neat. Just depends on my mood. It's just exceptional. It's a very rich bourbon. It's got some honey, uh, some honey flavors, some espresso, cinnamon, just some real deep, deep flavors. This bottle here cost me 125 bucks. I really, really like Bardstown. I really like what they're doing with some of their finishing process. I, I really had to decide. Honest to goodness, I knew tonight I would pick, I would pick, a Bardstown bottle. I had to decide between the Discovery series, which I have a few of those, but I just couldn't surpass. I just couldn't pass up the, the Chateau de Libaud. Fantastic, fantastic bottle. I have to say. Down here at SLB, my favorite bourbon, Bardstown Chateau de Libat. Moving on to the next category, I have my favorite rye whiskey, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is a little repetitive. I just can't help it. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Now, this was included in a previous video. I'm sure Trenton will put it up somewhere whether it's here or there or whatever but I'm sure he'll put up the video somewhere where you can watch the past video where I included the Jack Daniels uh, single barrel burr proof rye this was a special release but I'm hoping and praying that Jack Daniels will will uh, follow suit next year and put another rye whiskey release out there because this thing is just fabulous my bottle here it's a single barrel so the proofs are going to vary but my bottle is 130 proof i can drink this thing rye i can put it on ice cube but truly my preference is to drink this neat it's just fantastic 
fantastic. It's just so good. The flavors are just outstanding. It's very viscous. It's, it's got a delicious thick mouthfeel. It's got some maple and burnt caramel. It's just got all the fantastic flavors, so I can't pass it up. $65. I found it at retail. My favorite white rye whiskey in the bar right now, Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof rye. Next category, Irish whiskey. Hey, I'm a big fan of a lot of different whiskeys. I really am. I just don't I, I just don't consider myself a bourbon or a rye guy. I mean, I like them all. I like to get into them all and I like to learn about them all. I really, really do. So my favorite Irish whiskey here in the bar, I have probably have at least probably 15 different bottles of Irish whiskey. It has to be 100% easy decision for me, Red Breast 27 year. To me, this bottle offers some flavors that I've never experienced in an actual whiskey. I just have not. It's so, so good. This bottle here comes in at about Apologize. 54% ABB, so it's about 108 proof. But this bottle is jammy, fruity, real raspberry forward, a little bit of vanilla, just a little bit, a little bit of malty. But the fruit notes in here come front and center, right in your face. It's absolutely delicious. This particular bottle is legitimately about $425 MSRP retail and that's what I paid for the bottle. I paid retail for it. Um, I'm kind of milking it a little bit because it is expensive. Would I replace it at some time or another? I probably would. It's just that, that good. Favorite Irish whiskey at SLB, Red Breast 27 year. Moving on to the next category, I've got Japanese whiskey. Hey, how, how can I not? How can I not? I, I probably have about eight bottles or so. Not a lot. Japanese whiskey. I do enjoy it. But I, I was fortunate enough to get Habiki 21 year. I mean, this is like the Mac Daddy of Japanese whiskeys, in my opinion. I'm not... I'm, I, I, I'm all out there. You know that. I'm completely honest on all of my videos. I'm not 100% educated in the Japanese whiskey field, but I, I have a feeling that the Habiki Harmony is kind of like a front and center Japanese whiskey. I absolutely love this stuff. I really, really do. It's a little bit lower proof. It comes in around 86 proof, but it is just a beautiful experience to pour this neat and just sip it slowly. Experience all the flavors. I can't, I can't verbally express to you how beautiful this whiskey is. Um, it's just, it's got a little bit of malty in there, a little bit of fruit. Uh, it's got some, some warm baking spices, a little bit of floral incense maybe, a little bit of floral notes to it. But I guess what I can say most of anything, maybe a little wisp of smoke there on the back end too, but what I can say mostly is just an unbelievably beautiful blend of flavors. Not one flavor the other is, not one flavor is greater than the other. It's just, when you sip it, you can just, you can sense all those flavors together. It's just amazing. Habiki blend, this is a blended whiskey. Habiki blends three or four of their of their particular whiskey lines together and they age it for 21 years in several different types of barrels and and it's just fabulous that's about what I can say about it now I did purchase this bottle for about 800 bucks thankfully my wife's not down here with us tonight or else she'd be piping in I promise you that it's only Trenton and he's not going to give me a hard time because he likes some of this every once in a blue moon too right so 800 bucks is what I paid for that MSRP now is a thousand dollars and up 
uh, you just can't get it for less than a thousand dollars. I was fortunate a few years ago to come into a real great deal. Okay, that's a relative term. I get that, but I thought it was a good deal because forever I've been looking at this and it was a thousand dollars or more, and I got it for eight hundred bucks. It was one of those deals on the internet. Honest, honest to God, it took me almost two months to get it. So for a while, I thought I was gonna get, you know, jabbed on it, but. It finally came in, and it's been well worth it. I don't know if I would ever replace that bottle. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But I can tell you this. I am extremely happy that I spent the $800 at a one-time purchase for this particular bottle because it is an amazing whiskey experience. Okay, that's enough of that. Finally, last but not least, my favorite scotch in SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. It just has to be Balvini Tune, batch number four. I love that stuff. I really do. It's not, it, this particular bottle cost me a little over 400 bucks, I think, and it's pretty close to MSRP. It's a lot of money. I, I, I completely understand that I get that. Now, maybe we'll do another show of what my, mo my most expensive scotch here in the bar is. Uh, we want to do that when my wife's not around. This is not my most expensive scotch in the bar, but this is up there. This is probably next to it, I would imagine. So, but the flavors that you get, the, it's just like, I, I, best I can do is read the label for you, if I can real quick. Rich and malty with sweet vanilla fudge, layers of honeycomb and citrus. Man, that's all I got to say. I mean, come on, man. That's all I have to say. It is luxurious scotch. I just find it to be a beautiful, beautiful drinking experience. Drink it only neat. That's the only way I drink that particular scotch and most of my scotch for that matter. But Balvini Tune, Balvini Tune batch number four, my favorite scotch down here at SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. That's what we have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Boy, we certainly always appreciate it. Trent and I do. Thank you so much for everybody that's subscribed lately. Boy, it just means the world to us. Thank you so much. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. And we'll see you next time down, right down here with me in the good old basement bourbon bar. See ya.